Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a Wi-Fi hotspot with your iPod or iPod Touch or iPhone. Now for this you need a jailbroken device and you're also going to need a link um, from Cydia. Now you're going to go into Cydia. There we go. And let that load up. Um. Mm -hmm. Once it loads up, you're going to go. Oh, actually, you're going to go to manage. You're going to go to sources. You're going to click edit, add. And you're going to type in. One second. One second. You're gonna type in that code right there. Where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. Sinful iPhone repo. It's the HTTP colon forward slashes they are going to do that. Type in sinful iPhone repo dot com forward slash. Would you add that source? Click done. Go into that source. And go to the oh, damn it. Just gotta wait till this reloads. I don't know why I just do that. Go back into my phone volume. I'm going to go down to the M's. And now you're going to get. And you're going to scroll down until you see My Y Cracked. That one. Okay, once you. In, go ahead and install that. And the app should look like this My Y. Now uh, this is what it should look like. It's just a little tiny thing. Too big to it. Just say things here. Uh, Wi-Fi name. That's where you can change the name of your Wi-Fi. Keep the Wi-Fi channel the same. The WEP security. That's um um if you want a security code on. I really don't care. This is um tethering USB and Bluetooth. Yeah, I don't really bother with that. And now Wi-Fi tethering. If you turn that on, which I shall. It will turn your Wi-Fi hotspot on, if you have noticed. And then I think the box with the Wi-Fi should come up. Yeah, see like this? Just press cancel. And there you go, it's on. And you see right here, it doesn't say I have any Wi-Fi. Let's go into settings. And it's kind of weird because if you have the Wi-Fi hotspot, if you if you are the main host for the Wi-Fi hotspot, um, seems like the mic's Wi-Fi, not settings, not my normal one. Um, you you see up here, it's only like it's only one bar. I don't know why it does that for the Wi-Fi hotspot one, but um, yeah, other people will have mostly full. If they're close to you, it's a great way to use in the car. Um, and uh, it is a battery consumer though. Like it, it, it eats so much battery that you probably only want to do it when you're in like if you're in the car and you um and you have it plugged into like one of those battery things or like a laptop that's plugged into the battery things. Yeah, so. That's it. That's how you create a Wi-Fi hotspot of your own. It's a great way to do it. Um, of course, you have to be broken if you have not noticed. This does not look like a normal iPod at all.
yeah thank you for watching and bye and rate comment and subscribe